Hey everybody, it's Keith with L1 Automotive Training Channel, and today we're actually at the shop. We've got this uh, uh, Ford Super Duty truck we're going to add a key to, so the customer only has one. They want a um, they want a second key while it's here for other services. So um, we're going we're gonna to cut one. We're actually going to use the Dolphin machine uh, to decode and cut the key, and then we're going to use the Autofix uh, IM1 to program the key. So uh, a tool I've had for quite a while and a new tool, so we're going to give it a shot. Hey everybody, uh, just want to let everyone know we have a live hands-on module programming class coming up in January we're super excited about. So check it out on the website, links in the description, at onetraining.com, click the events tab. Learn to program modules like us. Um, so looking at these keys, it looks like it's not terribly worn. Uh, it's like a, let's see. I've been really practicing this decoding thing, so looking at the key, I see from tip to end, there's eight cuts, this is an FO38R cut, um, I think it's like a three, a two, and then a four at that valley, and then like a three, no, maybe a two, so a three, a two, a four, a two, three, two, four, three, one, one, three, one, maybe? Something like that? I don't know. Oh well, we're gonna put it in here, so I was gonna try to try my best to do this one hand. So basically we're gonna line up this key until it gets right above the fourth mark. Now from my angle, that's perfect right there. So from your angle, it may not be. Uh, most of these Fords, that's the case. Sorry, uh, you had to play the, Let's see if I can just set you up here. You can kind of see what's going on. There we go. So I got to make sure it sets flat and straight and then tighten that down. It doesn't have to really be that tight. I just like it to be nice and secure. I want it to be flat. And then we will um, let me get my other phone here. We got a, we just connected to the tool. We're going to go vehicle database, uh, Ford. Oh, there we go. Ford. Uh, this is a F-150, uh, it's a FO-38R, which is not there, that's weird. Uh, anyways, it's 11 to, yeah, 11 to 13, FO-38R, uh, fourth position, that's how almost all the Fords are. We'll press OK, we'll press decode, decode, and then the machine's going to first do a calibration check. Check where the tip is, and then start the decoding process. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. So eight positions. It says uh, success. And if we look, the bidding from tip, yeah, like three, two, four, two, one, one, three, one. Okay, so I was off. I thought there was another two in there. So anyway, so then what we'll do is we take the the key out. I always hold them up like this. As you can see, we're pretty close. That end that's built out, that's because there's no cut position there. So that's not the case. So now we'll take uh, off of our keyboard here, a replacement one. Uh, we will put it in in the same way. Same position, make sure it's nice and flat. We'll click cut key. We'll do a secondary cutting always. Press continue. It's gonna cut. Move this bad boy out the way. If there's anything I can say about this machine is it makes a hell of a mess. That does not help you guys see.
it's cut. Now what we're going to do, I usually go over here to this machine. Go ahead, turn this on. Just making sure there's no sharp edges. So, we'll go over to the truck. Looks right to me. Looks pretty close. Check it in the door. Nice. Okay. The cut's good. Um, yeah, I put the scan tool in here earlier. Oh, yeah. Score. Okay, so we'll connect the... Let's see, this has got the same, like, V200 interface that all the newer Autels does. This is just a... I don't know what they call it. I think it's like a... Gautel says this is like their Amazon line or something, but I don't know. This tool, this is the um, IM1. Yeah, IM1. IM1, unless there's two of us, and then IM2, right? Kidding. Uh, so we'll put the key in the ignition. Key on. Okay. We're going to go MO. Except recognized it was a Ford. We'll tell it it's a Ford. Uh, that should be the right VIN. It's a blade key. Yes, it's all correct. Going to go hot function. Add a key. Start. We know it will not erase existing keys. The key to be learned is already in the ignition. We take 10 minutes. Yes. All right, so it's going to gain security access. So we'll hang tight and I'll see you guys in approximately 10 minutes. All right, so at about like 85%, it just said learned keys too. Like, okay. Uh, now current number of keys learned is three. Do you want to learn the next key? Nope. I just needed two learned. So that's done. Okay. So we'll shut the key off. Pull the key out. This is the, the one key we made. Going to go... Oh, key on. Okay, it starts. All right, so we win. So now we've got to learn the uh, remote. So we have the original key and we have the key that's uh, just programmed to the vehicle. So what we do is we take start with the key in it. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just heard the door locks chunk. So press one button on that one. One button on that one. Oh, maybe that's why he wanted a new one. Looks like we need to put a battery in that. All right, so if we shut that one off, the door's just locked, and now. Well, now that works. So the problem is, is that one's not programmed now. Way to go, Mr. Customer. So we're gonna put a new battery in that one and see if it's good, and if not, then I guess he can leave with his one, or we'll talk to him about adding another key. Uh, but I have two programmed keys, so I have this one that runs the car, which is the one we just made, and we have this one that also runs the car. So, there we go. Alright guys, uh, check out link in the uh, description for where you can get an auto fix IM1. See you guys next time.